everybody? Welcome back to another beer review. Rod J here. The last few reviews I've been actually uh, reviewing Lagunitas, and I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to take a look at Lagunitas, the nighttime ale. This is their black IPA. Comes in at 7.9 ABV with 74 IBU. So, been very pleased with some of the Lagunitas beers I've been having and. Look forward to enjoying this one. This is also a limited release. So if you see it out there, make sure you grab it before it's gone. And we're gonna go ahead and Fear the Dark as it says on the label. Right there, Fear the Dark and get it into a glass. Hey, how you doing? Once again, I'm gonna be using a snifter glass here. that one out oh that's a that's a pretty dark beer that is pretty much jet black um, when you look at the appearance you're not seeing anything through there it's got a tan head the head looks to be have a little bit of creaminess some tight bubbles in there definitely two two and a half fingers maybe three on the head itself Wow, it's, uh, it's a nice looking beer. So like I said, it's considered to be a black IPA or a Cascadian dark ale. Looks very nice. Let's go ahead and get an aroma. And what the hell is that smell? <laughs> wow, you can get the Cascade hops, I believe, are used in this one. It doesn't list the hops, but I smell Cascade hops in there. Um, they come right out great great moderate to heavy aroma so just a barely a sniff will bring out the flavor of this one <sighs> smells a lot like uh, the resin or the pine you would expect to have on the IPA real earthy oh, great smell kind of makes you have the feeling of being out in the woods somewhere Wow, just dominated by those Cascadian hops, I believe, are in there. I'd have to double check to see if that's the case, but if I'm going to guess a hops, I'm going to guess that's the one they definitely have in it. Well, let's go ahead and get a taste and already start to see the glass lacing taking place. Well, let's get a taste now. Well, I do want to know what it tastes like. So on the taste, first thing I notice is getting hit with the hops up front. And then I'm getting hit with the malts. I'm getting a good roasted taste. I'm getting some of a flavor in there, kind of of like a, a chocolate coffee. A slight burnt roasted cocoa type taste in there. Um, it plays very nicely against the hops, almost to make it as a black IPA. It's almost like what if a porter and an IPA were put together? That's kind of the feel that I'm getting out of this beer on the taste. The body itself, very medium body, very medium to heavy, I should say. And no astringency really on the, on the, uh, the back end of the finish. The finish itself is a good, a good average to long finish there. Uh, putting it down. I'm still feeling the flavors in my mouth. Um, once again, another good beer. You could easily pair up with a nice cigar. Want I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. It's a really good flavor on the taste. You actually get the the sensation of the hops in there, but you're also getting a little bit of a burnt chocolate type taste there too. It's almost like if they put together an IPA and a porter with this one. It's a nice mix. You, um, The body itself you're getting, I would say a medium to heavy body on this one. Um, the texture is a nice dry texture. You do have some creaminess in there on the taste as well. Um, but as far as the finish, not much astringency on the back end. You do kind of taste, I think, maybe a little bit of the alcohol, but Overall, it still provides a nice 
flavor pattern for this beer. So I think with this one overall, I think it's another solid offering that they have from Lagunitas, and this is the Nighttime Ale. If you've had this one before, make sure you put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. But I think it's a it's a solid beer. It's definitely one that's going to have a little bit more of a kick. Um, like I said, this one has 7.9 ABV. Now, if you go to Untapped, they are actually saying 8.2, which is actually wrong. And the IBUs here are 74, and they have it listed at 65. So it does give you that hoppiness there, and you do get that bitterness within the taste as well. But for a black IPA, it's definitely what you would kind of expect there. So I think overall, a nice beer from Lagunitas and one that you should check out. Definitely would recommend this one if you like some of the black IPAs and things along those lines. If you like IPAs and you like porters, you're probably going to love this beer. So if you've had it, again, let me know. But make sure you check it out if you can because it is in limited release. Appreciate you swinging by to see another video. Look forward to catching you on the next one. And make sure you uh, like if you like the video and make sure you subscribe if you want to stay up to speed as I release these videos at different portions during the day right now. Um, subscribing will allow you to be able to get that video when it is released. Well, with that, I say cheers and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Does this guy know how to party or what? Huh?